All right, it's time for some electric guitars. Let's get right into it. G electric guitars, tone, it's like everything, right? Especially for, you know, any rock record, anything that's going to be even um, cross genre, got some rock guitars, electric, whatever. We got to get the tone right. The tone is everything. So uh, this one looks like it was recorded through some amps um, with some microphones. So I got a, let's see, we got to find what we got here. We got a Royer, we got a Beta 57, and we got a 421. 421 usually for me means like a good round, uh, good mid-range, lower mid-range. Um, it's going to be kind of, you know, chunky down in the 500 area. I've used all these mics. I, I love all of these mics. I think they're all great choices for a guitar amp. Uh, Beta 57 means a little bit more cutty uh, high mids, right? So that 1 to 3K is pretty probably going to be pretty forward here. And then the Royer is a ribbon. It's going to be really smooth mid-range, right? Not too much uh, gloss on the top. And you really don't want gloss on the top of any guitar. Like, you really don't want it to be, like, super high sizzle stuff. Uh, guitars just don't they don't sound good like that that's why that's why our ears love tube amps right it rolls out the the high stuff the really high stuff so let's hear this stuff uh let's get into these guitars and i'm just going to solo them out at first just to see what we got here so let's start with this royer <laughs> Okay, so it's actually a pretty nice balance. It's a little clean for me. It almost sounds just kind of boring. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, getting rid of some stuff on this 421 that I noticed right away. Just kind of some low stuff that's going to be uh, just taking up frequencies, especially as we compress. I, I don't really want them. Uh, compression is going to be important to this because I don't want to lose any of the, the, you know, the little runs and the, and the, um, the syncopated stuff. I don't want to lose that. I need that in the guitar. So, um, we got to compress to get that out. And then I'm thinking more of like a Neve sound on this. I want to get it kind of spanking a little bit and I want it to be, um, you know, British EQ'd. I guess is the best way to put it. So let's start to sweep out uh, some of the low stuff. We don't want any of that competing with the bass or the kick drum or even the low part of the vocal, right? So let's get into it. And you can see they were relying really heavily on that 421 sound, uh, bringing in a little of the 57 and then very, very s little bit of that Royer. So um, I like that. I like what they're doing here. It's a good combo. But I'm just going to sweep out everything that I don't need out of every single mic uh, here. Saving saving voltage is, you know, name of the game here. So let's get all that sweeped up and cleaned up a little bit. Really basic EQ moves, basically just shaping these microphones the way that I'd like them because now we're going to go to an amp. Um, this amp is just like a little too clean for me. It almost sounds like it was just like at a really low volume, which I really hate with an electric guitar recording. I think with an electric guitar recording, you got to fill the room with the with the amp. And if you can't do that, it starts to sound really kind of mm, boring, <laughs> you know, it just doesn't have guts. So... Uh, next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to throw on a an amp here. And I think that a, a blues, uh, you know, like something I have here, like a blues deluxe. Um, if you don't have a blues deluxe, you know, you can grab like uh, UAD has a great fender in here. Um, let's try this out. Let's give it a give it a shot. Uh, UAD fenders, the tweed deluxe. So this is kind of like a classic, you know, fender tweed deluxe, which is what the uh, the blues deluxe and tweed deluxe are kind of similar so um let's try and get like a real clean tone i start with maybe something that's just like really clean um let's go with uh ch -ch 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 humbucker clean you know something like that and then we probably want to do bring up the mic volume rather than the instrument because we don't want too much of the amp and then we'll just switch between the speaker types, right? So you have a JP12, you have a 120, and then a 25. Um, so let's just try this out, see what it sounds like. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so it's starting to sound a, a, a lot better, more lively, more stereo. You know, you see what I'm doing with the amp. I just I stereo mic'd it, stereo mic'd it with a, a classic combo 57 121 Royer. Um, and then now I'm going to start to kind of get rid of some of that that real roughness in that high mids, the stuff that like just cuts your ears. But before I do that, I want to compress so that it's not like it's already catching some of that. Um, before I go and, and do anything else. So I'm going to hit this with a compressor. Uh, one of my favorite compressors for this kind of thing, uh, especially on guitars, is going to either be the Fairchild 670 or um, I really like the idea of throwing a uh, Neve 33609 on here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it some Neve sound because I still want the spank, but I don't want that much spank because it's like sing, you know it's like really cutting your ears off so we got to be really careful with that um let's go in here and find a good like guitar um stereo bus something like that right here we go we got a clean electric guitar polish it's like perfect perfect preset to start with um i always tweak presets dependent you know sometimes you turn a preset on and you're like that's what it needed done right but um just be careful, you know, use your ears. That's the name of the game. And I got my long ass hair and my beanie on. So I'm kind of taking care of some of the high end, you know, but, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's all good. I'm going to, I'm going to work this out. You know, it's rock and roll. All right. Uh, we're going to smooth this out. See what this compressor can do. So there you go. I think that's doing a really nice job. It's just smoothing it out a little bit. And I actually will go probably another um, another compressor here just to get it even smoother. And one of my uh, my second favorite things to do here on guitars is to use the uh, the arouser plugin. This arouser plugin is really cool. Um, uh, it really what it, it what it does for me amazing for the sidechain EQ detector. And we're going to search around this uh, 1K to 3K area. And we're basically going to push more of that frequency into the compressor uh, detection. And that's going to sort of, you know, push that down more than the other frequencies and let other frequencies through more. So I'm going to take this to like maybe 3 to 1 or 4 to 1. And uh, we're going to go let through all this because we're already filtering all that out. And then I'm going to boost around like that 2K area because that's really where I'm hearing it in my ear. And then um, I'm going to widen out the octave a little bit, and then you can blend it in, parallel it, whatever. But I'll show you how this is going to treat this guitar. I might also throw some of the saturation in there. I think that'll be really cool. And then we'll modify the attack to see if we can get the, uh, the guitar to spank, but still, you know, soften out a little bit of that energy in the transients. So here we go.
Okay, so that's doing exactly what I wanted to do. I really want to be sure that I'm not killing the transients though. So I'm just trying to keep this attack kind of slow enough to let the transients through. Um, and then I just want to kill a little bit of that uh, 2.4, 2.5k kind of vibe. Um, and I'm actually going to tighten this up just a little bit on the octave slope. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shape these EQs and throw some reverb on it. But before I do that, let's check it in the mix so you don't, you know, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. So it's getting there. Uh, one thing I really noticed is like these guitars are very, very just dry, right? Super dry. So um, I'm just trying to give them a little bit more of a vibe. But the next thing I want to do is try a, a spring reverb on it, you know, because this kind of vibe guitars like that are really clean. They do well with like a good spring reverb. So I'm just going to actually slap it right as an insert. And the Avid one, the spring reverb that comes with Avid, uh, that comes with Pro Tools is, is really good. Like, I love it. I think it sounds really great. Um, I forget what it's called, though. Every time I try to go to something that I haven't used in a while. Uh, I think it's the... Hold on, Spring. I think it's just called Spring is what I thought, but like Spring Reverb, you know what I mean? Hold on. Either that or like Black Spring or something like that. Uh, but anyway, that's what I'm looking for right now. I'm looking for that spring reverb that comes with it. Let's see here. We'll find it. Oh, what is this? Rectify? Rectify sounds kind of cool, but I don't really want to add any uh, distortion here. So let's go up here and find reverbs, and let's look for the spring verb. Studio reverb revolver maybe is what it is. Might be revolver. No, no, no. That's Mick DSP. All right, I'm still looking. I'm sorry. Uh, spring reverb. I know it's in here somewhere. I just always forget what it's called. Roto speaker, revive, smack, sans amp. Here, let's try this. Let's hit tab and let's search spring. Yeah, okay, so it's the black spring. I knew it was something like that. I think it's because it's a mono plugin that it wasn't showing up, but so this is the uh, the spring reverb and very basic, like you know, you have a mix knob, a decay, and a tone. So let's just see what we can pop in here. cool i think i'll probably automate it towards the end on that outro so that we get more of the mix and it gets just bigger but when we're in these parts here where he's like rapping 
I think that that's going to be like a really short, you know, little bit of the mix of the spring verb, but it's doing exactly what I want it to do. I might turn the decay up to about, a, you know, 1.5, you know, this is probably in seconds. So 1.5 seconds, you know, decay is good on something that's ding, 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 ding. you know, you're going to get the rhythm. You basically want to set your decay of any reverb to the rhythm of the track. Like how's the track pulsating? You know, when's the reverb decaying? You know what I mean? You want it to like have a rhythm and a breath. That's the idea of any reverb or delay or pre-delay in anything. Just, you have to lock it into the timing. That happens with compression as well. Like uh, the attack and release of compression, you know, letting letting the the track breathe and the compression breathe in timing. It can, it can change the groove completely. It can do a lot of cool things. So. I think we're really set with these uh, with these rhythm guitars. I'm really liking how they're coming out, and you can see like I got a uh, um, an amp going to a compressor, going to another compressor, which I'm actually going to mod the attack a little bit there, and then going to an EQ here, which I'm going to bring up a little bit more of that that I took out. Uh, you know, I always have to like back up and kind of tweak as I go, and then we got the spring reverb, and it's just kind of like putting everything together. Uh, another thing I could do to control it a little bit more on this 421, I might like throw a um, either an LA-2A or an 1176 on there just to give it a little bit more control because there's parts in here like as you can see um, if I zoom in here, right? And if you highlight and you hit E, uh, you'll go like explode what you're looking at. But like things like this where he's smacking the strings, you really want to like make sure that that gets, you know, that gets sorted out right away, you know, or else you're going to have a lot of issues. Um, just things popping out and you're going to be like, whoa, that caught my ear. So this is just like the professional stuff, man, like going the extra mile. So what we're going to do is I'm going to throw a, um, an LA-2A in here. Uh, let's see, LA-2A. Um, I like the the silver face from, um, from UAD. I think this is a really great, I mean, just, I've used LA-2As, almost all of them. And, you know, they're noisy as hell, like the actual hardware units. So it's nice to have a plugin that sounds like exactly like it and reminds you of the compression, but doesn't have all the, shh, you know, the noise of a real LA 2A that, and I've used all these Teletronics ones too. Like they're, they can get really noisy. So I'm going to pop this on and I'm just going to see this kind of like knock a little bit of uh, compression off and uh, we'll solo it just so you can really hear what I'm trying to do here. Just kind of even out the 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 rhythm here. So you can hear it just kind of like lets that the rhythm come out like we don't want to lose the rhythm in parts where it's just going you know like we want to hear that the whole time though you know that's that's the pocket and uh obviously this needs a little bit of time correction as well but you know i think it's uh for rock and roll and what this is we're going to really rely on the acoustic more so this is kind of like a timbre an ear tickle in here i don't think you really want to hear the electrics too much but, um, you know, that's just my opinion. <laughs> so let's hear what we got with these electrics. And then uh, what we'll end up doing is we'll end up going in and let's see. I think we have the, yeah, we'll start bringing in all these perks in the next video. 
and uh, start to you know really shape this rhythm because I can tell that something's missing on the found like the fundamental the foundation of this track and I know that it's these djembes and tambos and the shakers and you know that's the stuff that's really bringing in all the syncopation so uh, let's hear what we got with the guitars here and um, I'll just kind of balance a little bit of stuff and then we'll move to the next module and we'll bring in that perk. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, let's move to the next one. Let's get these perk and uh, let's kind of get a little bit more um, brilliance and some harmonics in the drums. Everything kind of just, you know, getting more transient and uh, more lively. All right, let's go. 